Hi everyone, I'm Rachel and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we have a really exciting video because I have a Yes Style haul and first impressions. I ordered a bunch of new Asian beauty products and I'm super excited to check them out and try them out with you. Okay, let's dig in. Um, I made this order last week and I am actually super surprised we got here already and the first thing we have is this silicon moisturizing mask. So I got this to try with sheet mask. Um, this is supposed to be you put your sheet mask on your face and then you put this on top of it so it kind of helps hold the sheet mask better. Um, I used to do a lot of sheet masks, but I haven't done them as much lately just because like, you know, it can kind of slide and it can drip all over your face when you're, like if you don't lie down. So I'm ex I'm interested in trying this out and see how it goes. Let's open it up. Oh, it's kind of like, ooh, interesting. Ah, I can't get it out. Okay, I got it. Oh. <laughs> okay. Interesting. I guess you can like cut here to make it fit better if you need it to be, but I'm excited to try this out. I actually think I need to buy some sheet masks first though, so I need to do that the next time I go to the store. And the most of all my beauty products is actually in this bag here. So let's dig in. I ordered a bunch of stuff, mostly makeup because I've kind of been in a makeup mood, so let's see what we got. First thing we have is the Etude Doctor Mascara Fixer. So I've seen this a lot on TikTok, especially with some Asian um, beauty creators. So I'm really excited to try this out because a lot of them claim that after they use or once they use this, they're able to like layer on like Western mascaras and then they don't really have any flaking and I get a lot of flaking and transfer. So this is what the brush looks like. You can see there's like a little bit of white stuff, which I assume is the primer. So I'm excited to try this out um, next time I try on mascara. Okay, then we have the Etude House, Etude Tear Eyeliner in number three, Pink Crystal Pearl. So I got this because I kind of wanted to try that Korean um, makeup trend where you can like highlight the under eye area and also like the inner corner. I think I can also use this on top of my lid. Um, and I pretty much just wanted to try like Korean glitter liners because I hear a lot of good things about them. So here's the brush. In terms of application, it's actually a really pretty on. So if you can see right there, oh, too close. Right there. It's actually really pretty. So I'm excited to try that one out. Next is another Etude item. This is Etude Clay Color Eyes Bake House Eyeshadow Palette. So I actually have been eyeing this for a while because I've been really wanting to try some eyeshadows and I was thinking about I had my eye on this palette because one the name is adorable and I love to bake so like very very fitting and then two the colors are super pretty and look very easy for like a beginner it comes with how many one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 10 eyeshadows and then these two little brushes and the actual eyeshadow colors are super cute because you can see there's little images on there and they're like most of them are like named after like bakery items like this one is like almond croissant i think this one's salty brownie this one's like mini canel 
those super cute and really pretty shades. Okay, let me take off this so you can get a true look at all the colors. Super pretty. Super pretty everyday neutrals, which is what I've been needing. And it's a nice mix of mattes and shimmers and glitters. So I'm super excited to try these out. And I've actually never tried any I think Asian Beauty eyeshadows before, so I'm really excited. It's so cute with the little bread on the outside. Okay, I have been on the hunt for this for a while. Um, this is the Can Make Mermaid Skin Gel UV um, SPF 50 Plus. This is in the shade One Clear. So I've been on the hunt for this for a while, and every time I go to the store, I only find two, which is the white one. Um, I've seen a lot of people talk about this in TikTok and really like it in terms of sunscreen. And I just wanted to see how it would compare to the Biore UV one, which the UV Aqua Rich one, which I really liked. Because they're both Japanese skincare. Or Japanese like sunscreen brand. So the color looks pretty similar to the Biore one. Like this like light yellow. Let's blend it out. Yeah. It kind of has more of a lotion-y feel than the Biore one. I feel like the Biore one is a little more watery and liquidy in that sense. Like, I feel like when I use the Biore one, it has this, like, watery, cooling feeling. So this one kind of feels more like lotion. But still interested. Still excited to use it and see how it wears on my skin. I have three different lip products. Two are from Etude. Etude House. These are the Fixing Tint, which I see a lot of people talk about on TikTok. Um, these are supposed to dry down to like a nice finish on your lips and then be transfer proof and then I also have one from Romand which is the juicy lasting tint this one's slightly different because I think it kind of has more of a juicy glossy finish so let's see the two fixing tints first I got the shade this one is Midnight Mauve, and this one is Vintage Red. So, yeah, I've seen a lot of people talk about these on TikTok, and then some people rate these, like, their favorite, like, lip tint. Because it's, like, nice little matte packaging. Little tube. Here's what the doe foot looks like. Turn it around. And then let's do some swatches. That's what Midnight Mauve looks like. It's like a pretty My Lips but better kinky mauve kind of color. That's what I'm going to go with. And then this one, Vintage Red, I'm assuming is going to be like a, you know, classic red lip. The tube kind of looks more pinky, like a little pinky red. I'm just going to swatch it on my hand because I'm a noob. Actually, kind of has like a brickness to it, I feel like. A little bit of a brick red. So this one is Midnight Mauve, and then this one is Vintage Red. So both really pretty colors. I think they're just for different occasions, you know? And then let's swatch the last one so you can see them all next to each other. This is the Roman Juicy Lasting Tint in Lychee Coral. I think I wanted to get other colors or another shade of this, but this was the one they had in stock. And it looks like a pretty juicy peach, not peachy, like a corally pink, I think. At least on the tube. 
Oh, it smells good. It smells, it smells very fruity. The top is the Romand one. So it's like some swatches of all three together. I think they're all really pretty. Just depends what look you're kind of going for. They don't feel drying at all, which is really, really good. I wanted to try the like glitter eyeliner trend. Um, there's a person on TikTok I follow and she's always talking about glitter liners. So I wanted to get my hands on one. Unfortunately, most of the ones she talks about were like back not back ordered but had like a two to three month or three week wait and I kind of want to wait that long so I went for this one instead. This is the McQueen New York Jewel Potent Glitter Liner in the shade Pyro or yeah Pyro Pyro Opal. Oh, that's so hard to say. And it looks like this which is really pretty. Like, all that glitter. Okay. And it comes with this, like, little brush. So there's some glitter specks on there. Let's try it out. A lot of the ones she recommends have, like, more, more like a tip on the Etude House one. This is this one, I feel like. Kind of gives me like nail polish vibes with this brush, but the glitter is pretty if the camera will focus. Glitter is pretty. Plan for this is I want to try putting it on my eyelid for like special occasions to kind of get a little sparkle. I normally am pretty simple in my eye makeup looks. And I got two different eyeliners. This one is from MAC Queen New York. This is their waterproof pen eyeliner. And this one's by Heroin Make, their smooth liquid eyeliner. This one is in brown black and this one's in black. Both of these actually have a really, really fine brush tip in the 0.1 mm which i as an eyeliner noob am interested and in. i feel like it will help me be able to you know start drawing small versus like going in with a big fat eyeliner pen or a brush so this is the matte queen one and this is what the Brush looks like super small and fine. So yeah, like it draws like the tiniest line. Full focus. Oops, oops, oops. I'm dropping everything. Let's try the hair on the phone. Let's get it out. This one should have a really fine oh, Here's what the brush looks like. It all has like a super fine tip as well. That would be interesting because I think the heroin make is a Japanese eyeliner and the matte queen is a Korean eyeliner. So we'll see how they compare. I also decided to try this Heroin Make, I don't remember what it's called, but it's the Heroin Make, I think it's the Micro Mascara, which I thought was interesting, um, just because it had like a smaller brush. I normally use the Heroin Make Long and Curl, which has like that curved brush, but I thought having a smaller mascara brush could get closer to the lash line. So. Also, I never see this anywhere else. That's it. When I randomly saw on yesterday, I was like, huh, oh, seems interesting. So it does have a teeny, tiny brush. 
according to the back of the packaging, it's a triangle. The brush is triangle shape. Not 100% sure what that means for the mascara wand or how it puts on mascara, but we'll see. And last but not least, I have a makeup brush cleansing pad that is teeny tiny. <laughs> so I... I can't believe it's this tiny. I actually thought it was going to be like the size of my sink, kind of like those Sigma ones, but it's so tiny. <laughs> um, but I picked this up because I kind of wanted to try one of these to clean my brushes. I normally use this like the Sephora one where I have to like hold it. So I was hoping like I was thinking like this, I could like suction this to my sink with these suction cups on the back. And then I just hold my brush in like with the water and rinse it here so I can have one hand free. I had no idea it was going to be this tiny, but it's kind of adorable. But I'm excited to try it out, see how it goes, see if it cleans my brushes deeper. If anything... It might be less fatigue. Maybe I will get a bigger one if I really like it. But it's kind of cute. Maybe this is what just threw or gave me a clue. It says Express Brush Cleaning Pad. That I guess I should real. I don't know, but it's so tiny. I can't believe it. So that's everything I got in my Yes Style haul. I'll link everything I got in the description below. I'm really excited to kind of play around some more with all of these. I've been getting back into Asian beauty products and to be honest I never was really into Asian beauty makeup so I'm really excited to play around with them more. If you have any recommendations let me know so I can pick them up in my next Yes Style haul because they also, right after this order, sent me like a 15% off coupon, which I'm like, uh, yes, I'm going to use because I like to save money. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed it. And if you're not already subscribed, please make sure to hit that subscribe button below. I upload new videos every week. And until then, bye!